<laughs> Women who are on antidepressants and wanting to or are already pregnant should know the risk of taking these medications during and after the pregnancy. Although helpful to the woman, antidepressants can cause many de birth defects in their child. Many doctors take their patients off of antidepressants because of these risks. Women shouldn't stay on antidepressants because of the risk of birth defects, early labor and delivery, and long life <coughs> problems for their child. On CNN.com, they talk about autism. The children of the mother taking antidepressants during the first trimester are four times likely to have a child born with autism than those who are not taking antidepressants. The article has a statement by an MD, an, auti an autism expert, and an associate professor of radiology <laughs> at Harvard Medical School in Boston. I think one has to be aware of the risks that these drugs cause during pregnancy and really think twice before taking them. Studies have also shown early labor and delivery. Stated on CNN.com under the health section, the new study led by Dr. Lund of RS University in Denmark found that babies whose mothers had taken antidepressants were born early and were more likely to require treatment in the NICU. The study says babies of women taking these antidepressants were born an average of five days earlier than those born to women who had not taken antidepressants and did not have mental illnesses. And they were also twice as likely to be born prematurely. These babies whose mothers took the antidepressants were 2.4 times more likely to have been admitted to the NICU than infants who had been exposed to the drug. The FDA had given antidepressants to animals. The study says that they birth defects on their offspring. Yet the FDA says they're safe for humans to use during pregnancy because they don't have enough testing to prove antidepressants are unsafe. Although the testings have shown birth defects and premature labor and delivery, the FDA says it is okay for these women to take them, even with the lifelong defects to their unborn child. There are a lot of lawyers help, that help people during to the companies that make these antidepressants. Yeah. They have television ads and web pages saying if you take Paxil and Zoloft that you have a lawsuit against them because of these birth defects. The company who supplies antidepressant Paxil has known about the birth defects related to the medication dates back to 1995. Since birth, beginning when he was eight years, eight days old, Adrian Vasquez was has undergone three heart operations in an attempt to repeat, repair his heart. Adrian's mother was prescribed Paxil during her pregnancy and was unaware of the birth defects her child may develop. Pringle tells about other procedures Adrian has been through. In addition to heart surgeries, he's also underwent at least four cardiac catheterizations and three echidermias within the first few months of life. In March 2005, surgeons operated on Adrian again to install a pacemaker. He remains hospitalized for nearly a year before he became released in April 2006, just two weeks short of his first birthday. Adrian may have to go back and have more surgeries for the pacemaker and other problems he may have incurred while his mother was taking Paxil during pregnancy. According to neurologist Dr. Fred Bauman, the author of the birth book, The ADHD Fraud, 
antidepressants used during pregnancy is controversial, mainly because in psychiatric, no actual disease in, is involved. So treatment can be termed essential treatment. He points out that the doctors have all, always known that prescriptions can cause birth defects and harm the unborn child and pregnant women. He goes on to say that we are taught the Hippocratic medicine of the days since past that all absolute non-essential drugs were to be stopped in pregnancy. That there was no such thing as a completely safe drug. And, believe it or not, he states th that was the standard of practice in the medicine through the mid-1980s or so. In conclusion, taking antidepressants are harmful to unborn children and pregnant mothers diagnosed with depression. You should take a, a look at other ways to keep stress levels low. Pregnant women taking an antidepressant give their unborn children the risk of birth defects, early labor and delivery, and life-long problems.